What's up? What's up? What's good in the hood? You already know what this is. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get this bag out. I have a huge bag. It's not that big. I don't think it's that. I think I did get a lot. I don't even remember. I think I did get a lot, but it's really big because I got a box of shoes. I got one pair of shoes. We're gonna be trying this on with blue nails. I wanted to go with a vibrant blue, so it's not gonna match any of the clothes. Blue is my favorite color, fun fact. I'm gonna stop wasting time and I'm gonna get into this bag. Oh, in more ways than one, we get in this bag. That bag and the other bag too. Got my handy dandy scissors, just in case you need to cut someone, or in this case, you have to cup open a bag. So I'm gonna open this bag, hold on. Hey, this bag is so big, oh my goodness. I've been waiting so long to do this. Okay. I love Fashion Nova. I keep their light bills on. I keep Fashion Nova's light bills on, baby. I buy Fashion Nova everything. That's my favorite store. Fashion Nova is just, they got the best deals. They got the cutest clothes in my opinion. They have the widest variety. Oh my goodness, I got so much stuff. I'm not trying to cut my eyeballs out when I'm trying on these clothes. So I had to go ahead and put those scissors up and away somewhere. I'm gonna actually dump it out because I forgot usually, I didn't forget, but usually what I do, I did get some like sets and dresses, but usually what I do if I'm buying like separate tops or separate bottoms, I choose like something to put in my cart to the shoes. I put something in my cart, like that's, I don't know if you can hear me over all that falling. I put something in my cart that's gonna match with it because that's just the way I am. I really like choosing stuff that's gonna match with it. So, oh my gosh. So what's actually, this might take me a while because I have to remember what I matched with what. Do you guys do that? Or is that just me? Every time I shop, I have to find like a top and a bottom. I got this top from Fashion Nova too, but it's not part of the haul. I actually got this a while back, like in the long, long, long time ago days. There's a few things that I'm not sure what I matched with because some of them don't look right. The tops and the bottoms, it's not really adding up. You'll see what I'm talking about because some of this stuff, I don't know if I was like thinking like at the checkout, I was like, oh, that'll be cute because it's not. Some of these things just don't go together and I don't remember what I decided to put with what. First, you can see this, I had this right here. I'm gonna show you this really quick. Wrapped in bubble wrap. I don't like the plastic. Make sure you guys recycle your plastic if you shop online. If you shop online at all, like it either comes in cardboard or plastic, make sure you recycle them, but we don't play that. We don't kill the earth. Make sure you recycle it. I always recycle it. But this is the only accessories I got. These cute earrings. These are so cute. Girl, look at these. Tell me they're not cute. You can't because you would be lying. There's little rubber bands on these shoes. I just toss that to the side. Just like all my exes, toss them right to the side. Let the tigers get them. I just got these ones. I don't really know what I'm gonna wear these with, but I'm gonna find something. I always get, I love shoes. I always get shoes, but I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Like, these are so cute though. I've been loving snake print. I love snakes, the animals, not the types of people you know. I've had my fair share of snakes, but this is the only snake. Like, I love snake print right now. I would try them on for you guys, but my toes are a little bit crusty. I didn't give myself a pedicure. Uh, since quarantine rolled around, I've been doing my own, like, my own services. I've been working on my pedicures, and they're going pretty good, but I didn't, I need to get myself one. They're really cute. If you want a pedicure done by me, that'll be $600, come through. $600 per, per foot, so that'll be $1,200 total. If you want both your feet done by me, I'm really, really good. I am so good. But these are really cute. This is cute, cute. I'm gonna say that about everything, like these is cute, cute. Since I showed you guys the shoes and the earrings, I'm gonna get into the good part, what you guys came for, the clothes. And I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know where to start. I feel like I look like one of Charlie's angels. Let me stand up on this thing. I'm probably gonna have to be standing up on these things a lot so you can see the bottom. This is cute. I really like this. This is my favorite. I already said blue is my favorite color, but this, this is a look. I didn't know if it would look good on me or not, but it does. I really do feel like one of Charlie's angels. I feel like I'm a spy. I like when clothes make me feel like I'm a spy. Here goes the tag right here. I mean, you guys don't really have to. 
I don't really have to show you guys. You could just take my word for it. But in case you thought, just in case you thought I was lying for some reason, it's called a good sport velvet pant set, size extra small. I'm very petite. Every single thing that I got is size extra small and the pants, all of the bottoms I got are size three, size three jeans. Just in case you was wondering, just in case you wanted to be nosy about it, extra small for everything. And the jeans are size three. Are you happy? Let's move on to the next thing. This is the next thing. This is a dress. I don't know where I just put the tag at so I can tell you what it's called. It's obviously like for summer. I know summer's like over, but I had to get this dress. This dress was so cute. It fits a little bit, not weird, but it's just really, I have this problem a lot. It's because I'm skinny and because I'm short. So it fits a little bit weird on me. Let me do this. You can see the bottom. It's like, like it fits okay, but it kind of fits weird to me. I don't know. And this is a strapless. This is a like bandeau, bandeau, whatever you call it. So I put my bra straps down. That's my pet peeve. Do not wear, if you're not gonna wear it right, like if you're not gonna wear the bandeau right, don't wear it at all. Just don't wear it. Skip it. When you see it, when you see it online, skip it. If you're not gonna wear a strapless bra, if you're not gonna wear pasties or nipple covers, then just skip it. Do not, you don't need it. Get something else. It's giving me kind of spring vibes actually and spring is so far. It's about to be fall. And this is giving me spring vibes, but I'll save it till then, I don't care. I wear dresses any season it is. So I just might wear it in the winter too, winter and fall. And I'll, I'll wear it all year round. I'll wear it all year round. Where does, where's the tag? So I can tell y'all what it's called. An extra small, this is the let me be tie dye maxi dress. You heard it here, go get it. Who is she? Who's that girl? Oh my goodness. Because she had a glow up. She had a glow up. I'm kind of still waiting on my glow up. I feel like I've been looking the same for a few years now, but this is a little, a little wretched. I don't know what's, what it's called. Like when it's like bunched at the sides. I think this is a midi, not a mini. I don't know, either a midi or a mini. Cause minis are the ones that go up. Midis go a little bit lower. I could just check the tag, how about that? This is called the Glow Up Is Real Wretched, I was right, Wretched Midi, Midi, not a mini. It's the the Glow Up Is Real Wretched Mini Dress, or Midi Dress, in size extra small. I really like white clothes. I just don't like when you can see through them and I don't like how dirty it is, but my dog, she's white, and she sheds so much. So when I wear white clothes, oh my gosh, when I wear white clothes, like you can't see her shedding. I don't know what I, I would, I'm not gonna give away the outfits though cause I don't want nobody trying to copy my style. I kind of have ideas for how I'm gonna style all of this stuff. All these clothes I have an idea for how I'm gonna style it but I'm not gonna spill the tea. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pop out. I need to gain a little bit of weight. I've been trying to gain weight but it hasn't been working out for me. Every time I go on, like start gaining a little bit of weight I lose it all back over again. But it's okay, being skinny is okay too. Feel comfortable in your skin. You don't have to be thick. You don't have to be thin either. Some people want to lose weight. You're perfect just the way you are. Your body's just fine the way it is. But if you do want to change your body, make sure you do it in a healthy manner. Okay, let me hurry up and put on the next dress. Yeah, the next is a dress. I don't know how to dress is, okay. Hold on. I would say this is also a fall dress because it goes a little bit. Let me get my chair. Let me get my chair and stand up for you guys. I would wear this with some thigh high boots in the winter time and like a black, black, what's it called? Leather jacket. Oh, I just said I wasn't gonna give it away, but that's just, I feel like that's a basic look. This is a long sleeve, kind of a turtleneck. I have a tag right here, so I don't have to go trying to find it. It is called the Beverly Hills tunic just called the Beverly Hills tunic in size extra small. Obviously I already said everything is an extra small. I like the white. I already gave away my fit idea. I keep on looking in the visor. You already know why I'm looking in the visor. So don't be mad or don't be triggered if I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at me. If I'm not looking at you, it's cause I'm looking at me. You can't be mad that I'm trying to admire my beauty. Okay, let me stop and get on the next thing. I have one more dress left, just one more dress. And then I think that's the dress. 
Yes, I have one more dress left. And then we move on to, I guess, the rompers? Yeah, then we're gonna move on to the rompers and the jumpsuits. Look who decided to join the party. As soon as I decide to put on something black. She didn't want to come when I was putting on... I love you, I'm sorry. But she didn't want to come when I was maybe wearing the white stuff. She sheds so much. I already see fur on this. I like when like shirts are like... You could wear it as a shirt or a dress, but it's called the fashion icon because it says fashion icon right here, just in case you couldn't catch that. It says fashion icon. That's cute, and I like to think of myself as a fashion icon. I love fashion. That's pretty iconic, but it's just like a, a simple t-shirt dress. I like when you could wear a dress as a t-shirt, like with leggings and, or like pants, and you could also wear it as a dress because it goes long enough, but it's not like super fitted or super super fitted or super tight. I like that too. I like the baggy chill look. This was my last dress, so I hope you are impressed by it. Just really chill vibes. Why is this girl walking all over my clothes though? Why are you walking all over my clothes? Sparkle. That's my baby girl's name. Her name is Sparkle. Just in case you guys want to talk to her. <gasps> she doesn't like this light. She's like, girl, if you don't put me down, get me out this heat, get me out this light. Okay, so like I promised, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on to the rompers and the jump suits. And I am so excited because I love rompers and I love jumpsuits. I <clears throat> Sorry, you can see I'm a little bit too excited, but let me go on and start putting them on for you to see me. Okay, okay. Okay, let me stop, okay, come on. So when I saw this, I was a little bit skeptical because it was looking real skinny. I don't know if you've gotten this romper in real life or what the case may be. It's called Ride Aside Biker Short, okay. It's called Ride Aside Biker Short Romper. I pulled it out the bag and it was looking really skinny. Like really, okay, my dog is like choking on something. I don't know, you okay? This was so skinny and small. I was like, how am I supposed to fit into this? But usually when stuff is like that, like it looks really small, it just means it's really fitted. This is definitely a winter fit. I don't really have a stand up because you can see the whole thing when I just back up a little bit. It is black though. I'm trying to refrain from black clothing because of somebody looking at my dog. I like the color black, I really do. You can see the, it's a really thick material, so this is definitely, def hello, hi. Girl, but it's really thick material. It's definitely like for the transitioning weather because it's not really that hot. I just stepped on a plastic. That's why I grow in the recycling. But it's really good for, I forgot what you were saying. It's really good for the transitioning weather because it's like thick and sweatery for the cold, but it's not really like hot, hot or it's not really like cold cold yet because it's still kind of summery. So you got the little shorts action, you got the little v-neck action. And it looks really cute, I really like this. This is cute. Sorry, I'm just describing everything as cute. This is beautiful. This is breathtaking. I recommend this. Cause like I said, it's for this time of the year. Some of the stuff that I showed you was a little bit summery. But this is definitely for this time of the year for the transitioning weather. So. Go ahead and go get you one. Stop what you're doing. Pause the video. Go to fashionnova.com and go get one of these. Girl, this is so cute and it's so flattering on your body. This belt really got your waist snatched. I promise you're not going to be disappointed. Okay, so next romper I have. Let me put it on really quick though. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, that's a romper. I'll be right back. This is really pretty. I love when things like are diamonds because I love sparkly things. I named my dog Sparkle. So obviously it's because it's for a reason. It says queen because I am a young queen. Let me tell you what it's called exactly. It's called, it's a queen's world romper, which is true, it is a queen's world. Let me throw that over there. A little 360. I don't really need to get up on the chair. It's just like, it goes right to my let me kick up for, <laughs> but it goes like right above my knees. So this seems like something like, like this is just really casual. Or I was gonna say you could sleep in it, but you probably wouldn't want to sleep in it, even though it's really comfortable. Like I'd sleep in it. You could easily fall asleep in this. It's not gonna give you no trouble. It's not gonna tug back. But this is like a loungewear or a chill going somewhere. I recommend. 
It is approved by me. Next, jumpsuit. I think it's jumpsuits. Okay, so I just had two rompers, I think. I just tried on two rompers. Now I'm trying on my two jumpsuits. I think I have two jumpsuits. We're gonna find out. Next is this little jumpsuit. My body looks so good in it. It really hugs you, okay. I don't like when things like they go like too low right here. But this is what it looks like. It's really colorful, it matches my lips. Just in case you didn't notice, let me see. It's like coming off now, but I don't wanna get too close because I know uh, I know I look a little bit crusty, but. Walk in my way jumpsuit, size extra small. I had to put the bra straps down again because like I said, we're not gonna be doing that. If your shirt does not have straps, your bra shouldn't either. That's the rule. But yeah, then this goes, oh, okay, my dog is under my chair, so I don't know what to do. I don't wanna move. Yes, she's looking at me with an attitude. She, I'm telling you, this girl has that attitude 24 seven. But this is cute. I wish I could do a little, I guess I could stand on this chair. It just goes all the way down. Nothing too crazy, really comfortable though, really comfortable. Like the other romper I was just wearing, it feels like almost the same material. This is really, I'm just like rubbing my stomach. But this does feel really comfortable. The material is really soft, which I assumed it would be. Last romper, last, not romper, last jumpsuit. Last jumpsuit, I'm really excited for this one because that is a really good color. I love that color on me and I'm going to be so disappointed if it doesn't look good on me because that I love that color on me. I'm impressed. I really like this. I feel like I should back up. I feel like this isn't the right angle. Next try on haul, I'm probably not gonna be right here because I don't feel like, like this isn't good. Let me know if this is good because I'm not really feeling this area. I just keep on backing up, standing on this chair. But you guys, you see, I love this color. I love this color on my skin and like any black girl, any melanated queen, like whether you're light skin, brown skin, dark skin, whatever it is, I feel like People are always talking about like bright yellow and bright colors on um, black girls, but you know, those are cute and stuff, but I personally feel like, like earth tones, like nude, tan, khaki, like those colors on black skin. I feel like those, like that, that I don't know. I feel like that's so cute. I really like this. I almost forgot to tell you the name of it. I don't know where I threw it. I usually, I've been putting it right here, so I don't remember. On my candle, I've been putting it. So I don't know where I put the, did I even take it off? I did take it off. I'm sorry guys, I can't tell you. I can't tell you the name of it because I can't find it. Like I cannot find the, what's it called? The tag, and I don't know where I put the paper in either. And I didn't feel like finding it, like scanning the paper trying to look for it. I didn't feel like doing that anyway. That's so funny. It just disappeared when I walk away, disappear. I don't know what happened. Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and call it lost. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If you want this, it's on Fashion Nova somewhere. <laughs> you, you can find it. If you really, really want it bad enough, you can find it. It's a size extra small, like I said. But I like this. I really like this. I could dress this up in a heartbeat. So this was my last jumpsuit romper, anything. The rest of the things, the rest of the stuff that I got, it's all the stuff that I said I put out, like I planned outfits for and it's gonna get, it's gonna get embarrassing. The, some of the stuff I put together, I don't really know what goes together so it doesn't look right. I'm thinking I did something on accident, like I accidentally put the wrong thing in my cart. Or maybe I was just having bad judgment that day. I don't know. I thought like, oh, this would be cute. This would be cute. And it wouldn't be cute. Because right now I'm looking at it. I'm like, what went wrong? Because I know I'm not missing nothing because it's an even number. But it's an even number, but it's not adding up. I still have a couple outfits though. I have a couple outfits that do go together. That go perfectly together. Like peanut butter and jelly. They go together. So I'm going to show you those outfits really quick before... I get to embarrassing myself, y'all will see what I'm talking about. So I'll be right back. So this is okay. I got these jeans. I just got this simple bodysuit. I know I said I match like one bottom and one tops every time I get clothes, but I intentionally got two shirts for this, for these bottoms because of this white, white string. I thought this would be cute, which it is cute, but oh no, I didn't even see the back. I don't, I don't really like jeans like that, and I especially, I don't like, hold on, let me get up on this chair, if I can. You can see that they're distressed all the way down. They're pretty much, 
I was expecting it to be a little bit looser. I probably should have sized up, but I usually just don't do that because I don't trust stuff every time because usually stuff's already baggy on me. These jeans are size three. I have all of the all the tags right here, so we don't have a dilemma like last time. By the way, totally forgot. I'm stupid. So I actually found the tag. I found the tag for the last thing I was wearing, just in case you were you were curious. It's called Come and Chill Jumpsuit, and it's brown. My stupid self, it was still on me, and I was like. It's not on me anymore, it was. I took it off and it was still on me. And I was like, girl. So, this lovely top back here, I'm gonna try this on. This one also goes with these jeans. These jeans are okay, I guess. I'm really not a jean person. I really don't like, like I don't really, I don't wear jeans anymore. I don't really like them on me. But these are okay. Like I said, I was expecting them to be a little bit baggier. I should have probably, no, because I feel like that would have been too big a size because the next size up would have been a five and I feel like a five would have been too big on me. So these are called the Talk That Talk Distress Skinny Jeans. And it says skinny jeans, I'm just not realizing, but I feel like on the model when I was, like when I was on the app and the model, she was wearing it, I feel like it looked a little bit baggier. I don't like jeans, nor do I like distressed jeans. I've never, ever, ever in my life, never have I ever been a fan of distressed jeans. Distressed. How do you say it? Distressed. I, I don't know. I think that is how you say distressed jeans. I've never liked jeans with rips in them just because, I don't know, I don't like the look. I don't feel like it goes with my vibe, my style. And I also don't like how every time I did get like a pair of distressed jeans from somebody or somehow I ended up with them, they would always, like these always rip. They always rip and I don't like that. I'd rather just use normal jeans. And then this, I just got this because it's a normal, it's just a cute bodysuit. It's a normal white bodysuit that you could wear with a lot of stuff. You could wear this under stuff, over stuff. You could, you could work with this. So I just wanted to grab this. Ah, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice my hair was like tucked in there. So this is called the Don't Be So Square Bodysuit in ivory color, size extra small in this. So I don't have to tell you once it's on me. I'll just tell you right now since the tag is in my hand, this that I'm gonna be also wearing with this is called the Keep Them Tied Top in Ivory Size Extra Small. So let me go ahead and put this on. It looks a little bit risky though. This looks a little bit risky. I've seen a lot of people wearing this. Like a lot of people wear this shirt and I know it's risky, so. Pray for me. Okay, so this is the next one. This, you've probably seen so many people with this and I'm not even gonna cap, I didn't like it. When I first saw it and I saw other people wearing it, I was like, why would you get that? Why would you wear that? Like this, like I said, this shirt is dangerous. It's dangerous. Like it's, this is the only thing holding. Like you can see my bra, don't wear a bra with this. I wouldn't recommend wearing a bra with this. I would probably wear it with a bralette or like over a t-shirt or not a t-shirt, but over like a bodysuit, probably like that one, like a black bodysuit or something. Me and literally me and my cousin, we had a whole a whole discussion based on this top. And cause we saw like somebody, we were watching some other haul a couple months ago and some girl, she had this and we were like, yeah, that's not cute. And I just keep seeing people with them. Like that's not really cute. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give it a chance because why not? I think it was only like $19.99. I already told you it's called the Keep Them Tied Top, I think. And it's like, hopefully you do keep them tied. Come on, Fashion Nova. Hopefully this does keep them tied. Hopefully it does. But it is like, it's a, it kind of exceeds my expectations because I had low expectations. I was just trying it because I'm not one to go with the trend, you know? I don't really like following trends and stuff like that. I like kind of having my own style. But I saw a lot of people having this. And I was like, you know what? I should just try it because it looks like it's for girls that have smaller boobs. And I was like, that's me. So I was like, we have to take advantage of this. Girls, my like double D girls could never, they could never wear this. They could never. So you have to take advantage. If you see something that looks like it'll agree with your body type, which this definitely does agree with my body type. I have like very, very small boobs. So this goes really good. I recommend if you have smaller chest, you should try this. Because like I said, it exceeded my expectations. It's really cute. I would probably wear it with a bralette. If you are feeling like pretty, pretty bold, you could wear it with just nipple covers, but I definitely don't like wear nothing under it. If you wear nothing under it, you are brave. You're real brave. Probably, it doesn't seem like anything would happen, but if somebody decides to be stupid and like pull it up or something like wind, you know, anything could happen. Or if these untie, even though, these don't seem like they'll untie. These seem pretty secure, but you never know what's gonna happen. You don't want a little nip slip. 
So I do recommend you wear at least some pasties with this or you could wear a bralette or a, like I said, like a bodysuit with it. So, and this, and then this goes with this. So that's why I paired it with this. Even though I probably won't wear it like this, these jeans are okay, but I probably won't be wearing these much. I'm just gonna be honest. I, like I said, I don't wear jeans. I don't really like jeans. So I'm probably not gonna be wearing these that much. Not gonna lie, I'm not gonna be wearing these that much. Okay, so I need to hurry this up because my camera's trying to die. But this is pretty much where things start getting embarrassing and a little bit weird. Cause like I said, I don't know what like goes with what. So I just kind of matched some stuff up the best I could. I don't really know what actually I got for what. So, yeah, this is kind of embarrassing. This does not, like, let me get up on my chair. This doesn't go. Like, these do not go together, but it's the best I could do. Trust me, when you see the other options, you're gonna see why I put these two together. The other ones really, the other ones really did not match. But this, this is really cute. These are both individually, these are both really cute. Sorry, I'm trying to hurry up. These are both individually really cute. I've been wanting this top for so long. It's called the Shopaholic Long Sleeve Tunic Top, and like, look at me. I am a shopaholic, so obviously it goes good with me. It's good with me. These can't be found at camo skinny jeans. Sorry, I'm trying to go so fast, but I'm so scared my camera's gonna die on me. That's why I need a backup, a backup battery, but up on my chair, you could see. These aren't really that skinny. Uh, yeah, they say skinny jeans. I thought this is how the other pants were gonna fit pretty much, because they're a little bit baggy. And that's how I really like, like I like when jeans have that style. So let me know what you think. Don't judge them together, just judge them individually. I would probably wear this with like a black biker shirt. I don't know. I said I wasn't gonna give away my fit idea, so let me not. My apologies, my camera actually did end up dying. So I don't really remember what I was saying before. Last time I had on that, uh, the shopaholic and then the camo, I think that's what it was. So I don't remember what I was just saying. So it just like cut off my lipstick or my lip gloss. It's kind of gone now because I ate a taco. I went right to my phone and I ordered a new battery from Best Buy because we're not about to be having this. This is the second to last outfit actually. And I was telling you guys that the outfits weren't that cute. This is probably gonna be my favorite one because even though they don't go together, it still seems like it could, you know what I'm saying? Let me stand up for you guys up on my chair. On my chair, a a a a. I really don't wear jeans anymore. Like I said, I said I don't, I don't deal with the wearing jeans anymore. I don't like jeans no more. I really do like biker shorts because I'm really skinny. So jeans would always push in my butt, or like they would flatten me. Jeans would really flatten me, and I want things that are gonna flatter me. You know what I'm saying? I want something that's gonna flatter my body and go with my body type. That's just a little hint. If you are trying to like appear in a certain way if you're like insecure about your body you shouldn't be first of all you shouldn't be insecure about your body because your body's beautiful regardless of like wh what you look like how much you weigh whether you think you're too thin or too thick whatever you think it is your body's fine but if you are trying to get the illusion of looking like something like there's always some clothes that are going to give you the illusion of looking the way you want i always want to look a little bit thicker so I stopped wearing jeans they are not only uncomfortable for me but they're also they're flattening not flattering we need flattering clothes so that's what these are these are like acid oh I forgot I forgot how we do things because I took like a little hour I think it was an hour like an hour break or something I don't know after my camera died but so this is kind of more of a classy I feel like this is something I would wear with jeans even though i know i just said i don't wear jeans i like dresses leggings pretty much anything that's not jeans skirts anything that's not jeans i try not to wear jeans but i feel like this is something i might wear with like some high-waisted jeans because i do have a few i do have a few pairs up there this is called the talk that talk off shoulder top and it actually fits really good i like the way this fits what we have going on down here these are the acid dreams biker shorts so I'm feeling like a model. If you're not feeling like a baddie, when you walk out the house, turn around, go back in the house, and try again. Because every time you come out the house, you need to be looking like a baddie. You need to be feeling confident. You need to be strutting. Strutting that, uh, that beautiful face, that beautiful body of yours that you have. 
Don't let nobody tell you nothing. You need to walk like you own the place. Just a little word of advice. I need to go on and put the last outfit on. This was so sad. I love spending time with you though. I know we still have some time together, but we're already almost at the last outfit. We are at the last outfit. I just need to put it on. I'm here trying to procrastinate, but I really like spending time with you. I said it like 10,000 times because I don't want you guys flaming me or dragging me or nothing. None of these outfits really go together. I kind of had a dilemma. I don't know, a mix up. So these outfits don't necessarily go together very well. So this is my last outfit. This is my last outfit. And this is just a, ooh, where's the stuff at? This is like a, a mesh top. I honestly thought this was gonna be a little bit more see-through and I'm kind of glad it isn't because I don't wanna be showing my whole bra. But it's like kind of see-through, but it's not really that see-through. Like I could honestly, I was thinking about wearing this with, like having to wear this with a bralette, but you don't have to, to be honest. Maybe if you're gonna be in the sun, you might have to wear this with a bralette. And I just put it with these jeans. I, I mean, not jeans, these are like, these are kind of booty shorts. I think this is, might be one of the mix-ups. I'm pretty sure this is a mix-up uh, on my part, not on Fashion Nova's part. I think this is a mix-up on my part. I actually put the wrong thing in my cart and checked out with it because summer is like over. I'm not gonna be wearing anything this short anytime soon so i think i got this on accident but these are still really cute i still wanted these even though i'm probably not gonna be able to wear them i'm probably not even gonna be able to wear them for a while but i just put these together let me let me go ahead and tell you the um let me go ahead and tell you the what's it called this is called the tight and diet cropped top oh this is what it looks like this is so cute. I'm actually really glad it's not as see-through as it looks like on the website. It just might be, I was gonna say in direct light, but I literally have the light on me and it it really doesn't look that see-through, not to me. On the website, it looked way more see-through. Like you could see her whole bra. It might've been the color of her bra too, but I'm gonna wear this just like this, just like this. I don't have to put really anything under it. It's not that see-through. I'm okay with a little bit see-through, but if it's too much, too much, you know. I mean, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm not judging nobody. If you are fine with see-through, that's you. I like a little bit see-through, but not too much. Let me tell you the um, things for the shorts, though. Okay, so these are called the Slay the Fray denim shorts, and they are size three. Mm, 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 mm. So I really liked all of these clothes. I feel like I did a good job. I usually do a good job choosing my clothes, obviously, because I know what I like. If anyone knows what I like, it's me. <sighs> if I had to choose my favorite thing, I don't know. That's really hard. I really did love everything. So I'm just gonna, I guess I'll start with my least favorite thing. My least favorite thing was obviously the jeans with like the white little, that thing. I didn't care for those, not at all. I tried to be like, I don't like distressed jeans. I don't even like jeans no more. So I don't, I just thought I could work with those, but I probably am not gonna be wearing those. I just might even give them away or something. I'm not gonna return them. I feel like returning stuff is too much hassle, but I might not do nothing with those, uh, those jeans. I just kind of wish I didn't get those. I could have gotten something else, baby. I could have gotten something else. I think it was like 30 something dollars too. I could have gotten something else with that. I'm glad I charged my camera so I don't have to rush anymore. I could just, I could take my sweet time, but I do need to wrap this up because I know I can talk for, I talk for a while. I'm just, I'm really, I really like the tan jumpsuit too. I really loved like pretty much everything that's not the jeans is like my favorite to be honest. I loved everything. I really love this. Thank you guys so much for sticking around, chilling with me. Hey, hey. I don't know why I'm so hyped. I have no business being up on this app, up on this platform. I don't have no business. I like doing this. I love this. I'm still pretty, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm still pretty new to it all. I'm trying to be consistent and stuff. I just want to give you a little word of advice to y'all. If you stay till the end, you get this little nugget of information and inspiration. I just want to let y'all know that you guys are all beautiful. And I know I said that all throughout this video. It's because it's true. I'm not just saying that. Everybody is beautiful. And I believe that with my whole heart, from the very bottom of my heart, everybody has beauty. And you can't forget that. You can't let nobody, you can't let nobody tell you you're not. I know when people be trying on clothes and stuff and you get clothes from online, they look one way on the model and then you put them on, you're like, 
you're like looking in the mirror like, oh, that doesn't look how it looked on her. It's fine. You don't need to look like, like the models or the mannequins. You don't need to look, you don't need to, like your body is fine the way it is. You are beautiful in all of your ways. And like I already have said, make sure every time you leave the house, you're looking like a baddie and feeling like a baddie. It's all about feeling like a baddie. If you're just kind of copying somebody else because you think that's gonna make you confident, you're not gonna be confident, you're not gonna be happy. Make sure if you're wearing something, if you're rocking something, that it's something that you wanna wear, it's something that you chose to wear. Don't let, don't let nobody punk you. Do not let nobody punk you saying, oh, you can't wear this or you can't wear that. You need to wear this because there's no rules for who can wear what. You can wear what you want. If you feel good in it, you need to walk out like that. You cannot walk out wearing something that you don't feel good in. I feel like that's why fashion is so important to me now. It always has been. Like ever since I was a little girl, fashion has been really, really important to me. I felt like every time I dressed the way I wanted, every time I felt like every time I chose my clothes and like I felt I felt pretty every time I felt dressed up or I felt nice I would feel way more I would feel confident you know I would feel better so I just wanted to come up on here and let you guys know that really quick wear what you want because this is your body this is your one and only vessel that you get in life this is yours so don't let the next person or whoever tell you you can't wear something because that's not true you can wear whatever whatever you want if you feel confident you that's that's what you need that's the only thing if you feel confident in what you're wearing that's it don't let nobody tell you otherwise don't let nobody poison your brain don't let nobody do none of that if you want to wear something you wear it you rock it because you a baddie you a whole baddie when i see you you need to be strutting you need to be strutting like beyonce sorry for the movement but you get the point. You need to be strutting. You need to be strutting like Beyonce and that's just that. Okay, so I'm just gonna end that there. I'm gonna leave on that note. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you like hauls, I will be having so many. I already have. I think I'm gonna do a fall fashion overall because this stuff, like look at this. This is giving me summer vibes. So I'm probably gonna be doing a fall fashion Nova haul or like any haul. I'm gonna find any excuse I have to buy like a stupid amount of clothes from anywhere. I'm gonna be doing that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button if you liked it, of course. Make sure you subscribe if you like me. It means a lot. So thank you guys so much. Bye.